Greetings friends! Today I would like to tell you about physical contact with your dog. Because from my experience, I observed that not everyone knows how to do it correctly and not everyone is aware of the consequences of incorrect contact with your dog. Therefore, subscribe, who is not subscribed, and continue to watch. In fact, when there is a connection, physical contact between us and the dog, it's an exchange of energy. This may sound like some kind of fantasy, but in fact, it is so. Even when the leash is tightened, you immediately begin to feel the condition of your dog, how much he's shaking or how tense or relaxed or scared he is. And in the same way, the dog feels you through his tight leash. But it's just a leash. Can you imagine what you can feel when you touch it with your hands? Then everything becomes much brighter. Your touches can change the state of the dog. If they are slow and relaxed, this energy of yours will be transferred to your dog. If your touches are nervous and fast, this will also be transmitted to your dog. But each dog reacts differently to different manipulations. And for this, you need to follow your dog's body language very carefully. Because when we touched one dog like that and got a certain reaction with another dog, the reaction can be absolutely different from the previous one. Therefore, you should very carefully observe when you want to communicate with your dog how he reacts to your touches. Your touch can serve as a reward for the dog. Every time your dog does something good, you can pet him. You can caress by arousing him, by patting him on the shoulder, and you can stroke very, very calmly, thereby giving the dog your affection. But I repeat, for different dogs, touch can have different reactions. And you can expect that the dog will like your touches, but in reality, it will not be so. For example, when Prime and I work, he really doesn't like it when I pet him. Now he sits and just tolerates it, but at work, when we walk next to each other and I try to pet him, he constantly turns away, hinting that now is not the time. Make love later and now we're working. However, I used to have one client, a German Shepherd, and she could just walk right next to me. She didn't need treats, she didn't need the toy, she just liked being scratched near her ear. That is, we were just moving next to each other and I scratched her and she was very very pleased with that and walked directly leaning against my leg. Kisses. Kissing is also physical contact that occurs with the dog. And here, as in human life, if you have a good relationship, if you and the dog know each other well, the dog will be happy to kiss and contact your face. Or if it is a puppy that flirts with you in a way and wants your loyalty, it can work. However, if it's an adult dog that you don't know well, this closeness can be dangerous and you could get bitten in the face.
Therefore, to unfamiliar or little known dogs, or when the dog is under stress, never approach the dog's face very close to your face. This also applies to hugs. In a certain situation, you can see a lot of me cuddling with Prime on the bed or somewhere else, but now you can see how he doesn't like how I'm leaning on him right now. And he's showing like, dude, let's go without it. And sometimes we think that hugging is very cool, but not all dogs perceive it normal. And if the dog is unfamiliar, it is very, very dangerous to lean towards the dog from a bow, reach for the dog, try to pick up the dog or hug it from behind. You see, even Prime, who knows me well, we have an incredibly good relationship with him, but he still shows that he is not very happy about it. If you kissed a dog and hugged it yesterday, it does not mean that the dog will like it today. Therefore, it is necessary to critically evaluate each situation and see that the dog is the initiator of this action. This is, do not impose your physical contact on the dog. When the dog is excited, you can pet him hard enough and he will not be offended or upset and will behave playfully with you. However, if your touching is accompanied by some mental or emotional information, that is, that you do not just slap him, but you want to somehow, for example, boil him, then this is a completely different story. So touching very often depends on how we emotionally accompany them, that is, our emotions during the touch. For example, a slap now or a slap later when he does something wrong will lead the dog to a completely different state. All fast movements, incomprehensible movements, are unpleasant for the dog. If you want to relax the dog, if you want the dog to like it, do it slowly. Do it like a massage. Stroke the dog, stroke its muscles, and listen to how the dog reacts to it, how a dog relaxes or does not relax. For example, Prime starts growling. If I find a spot that he likes when I rub it, he will immediately make a sound to accompany it. So, I know it's the right spot. What happens? We see how my contrasting movements change the dog behavior. When I pet him, when I am active, the dog starts fooling around, jumping and biting. As soon as I calm down, as soon as my movements became slow, the dog also calms down and we have to understand that. Very often, for example, when the dog is frightened or excited, I tell the client to calm the dog down, and the client starts. And this is not comforting. If you want to calm or relax your dog, you must first relax yourself and communicate your inner state through the touch to the dog. There are some red lines, boundaries. These are certain places that each dog chooses independently. For example, you can touch some dog anywhere and in any way, and some dogs do not like it when you touch their paws, or their butt, or belly, or genitals to be touched. And you should find out all this when you get to know your dog, when you live together. Just watch it and everything will become clear. Watch your dog's body language very carefully, how he behaves, how he shows it to you, his reaction to your contact. The power of influence will show whether it is good or bad, or carries some specific information. For example, if the impact is light, it is stroking, if the impact is strong, it is already a blow, and the information will be perceived differently. The same with the leash. A slight influence of the leash can give the dog some information, and this information can be very diverse. For example, you can get used to one specific signal for one short burst. Two short bursts are another signal. A series of bursts 
is the third signal. And if the burst becomes strong, then this is a punishment that shows the dog that he did something wrong. But for this, you need to train the dog to understand that your influence should bring it to him. In order for the dog to allow himself to be touched and adequately perceive your touches, he must be trained from the childhood. When you feed the dog, when you play with the dog, you gradually accustom him to touch. That is, you have food in one hand and while he is eating, you touch his head, his neck, his paws, his belly, his butt, so that the dog perceives and gets used to your touching as a normal action and not something inappropriate. Prime actually wants to run somewhere and do his business and we make him wait and he understands what is happening. <laughs> so he shows you his butt. Dogs are often very trusting and when they allow themselves to be touched and pet, they trust you. If you deceive the dog, somehow offend it or do something unpleasant, you can lose trust for a long time. Therefore, all the movements when the dog allows you to scratch him, try not to disappoint him and give him exactly what he expects from you. When you are getting to know the dog, or the dog is unfamiliar, do not reach from above. Let the dog sniff your hand from the side, and if the dog does not mind, try to contact them from below. They really don't like it when something hangs over them. The next level is to pet the dog from above but only the dog that already trusts you. Thanks to those who watch to the end, communicate with your dog correctly. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and check if you have notifications turned on. I wish good for everyone.